tigers, the superstars of the cat family. In Asian countries, these iconic big cats are embedded in local culture. In India, the Hindu goddess Durga, protector of good from evil, is shown mounted on a tiger. The tiger symbolizes the great strength that the goddess possesses. In China, paintings of tigers are hung facing the entrance of households to ward off evil spirits. They were commonly featured in Chinese folk tales and proverbs, often protecting good people from danger. The tiger is also one of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals representing courage and strength. It's no wonder this animal is part and parcel of public consciousness. Around a century ago, there were probably as many as 100,000 tigers in the wild. Inhabiting less than 10% of their historical range, fewer than 4,000 survive today. Generally, six living tiger subspecies are identified. The Amur, or Siberian tiger, is found in the Russian Far East and Northeast China. With adult males, sometimes weighing more than 600 pounds, these cats are the largest subspecies. Compared to other tigers, the Siberian tiger's coat color has a pale orange hue. They also have fewer stripes, which is thought to be an adaptation to blend with a snow-covered habitat. Due to the cold climate, their coat is also longer and thicker. Additionally, their mane and furry paws help keep them warm. It's also ideal for stalking prey with minimum noise. The current wild population is thought to be between 450 to 550. Considered endangered by the IUCN, the Siberian tiger is threatened by habitat loss and poaching. The Bengal tiger, found in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan, is the most common tiger. In India, it's the national animal. In fact, India is home to the largest population of these tigers. Furthermore, it's considered that India includes around 70% of all wild tigers. According to one census, there are nearly 3,000 wild Bengal tigers in the country. Yet, with these numbers, there have been conflict with humans. For instance, between the late 1800s and early 1900s, a Bengal tigress killed 436 people near Nepal and Kumaung. Known as the Champawat tiger, it was ultimately killed by hunter Jim Corbett in 1907. For centuries, tiger hunting was prevalent as a royal sport in India. This exacerbated during the British Raj, where thousands of tigers were killed by the Indian nobility and colonists. Ultimately, hunting was banned by the government in 1971. Tigers are the largest of the big cats. This is because they have more muscle mass. Ranging from 2.5 to 4 inches, tigers also have longer canine teeth than other big cats. Unlike most members of the Felidae family, tigers like water. And they are excellent swimmers. With the help of webbed toes, tigers can glide through large volumes of water with their paws. Similar to the leopard and other patterned creatures, a tiger's coat is unique. No two tigers have the same coat pattern. Sometimes, due to a recessive gene, white-colored tigers can occur. White tigers are known to originate from Bengal tigers and are very rare in the wild. In captivity, where they are often seen, these animals have been continually inbred. In the wild, there have been no reported sightings of white tigers for the past 50 years. Even with their impressive numbers, the Bengal tiger is still considered endangered by the IUCN. The South China tiger is considered functionally extinct. This cat is now mostly seen in captivity. For over two decades, a wild South China tiger has not been seen. In the 1950s, there was a population of 4,000 wild tigers. 
Because it inhabited land that was also used by humans, it was considered a pest and hunted. By the 1970s, tiger hunting was banned. But the damage was done. Even in captivity, their numbers are low. The South China tiger is listed as critically endangered and possibly extinct in the wild by the IUCN. There have also been reports of a blue tiger in China, mostly from the Fujian province, which dates back to the early 1900s. Harry Caldwell, a tiger hunter and missionary, and naturalist Roy Chapman Andrews have presented accounts of blue tigers. The tiger was described as having bluish fur with dark gray stripes. Roy and Caldwell attempted to hunt the tiger, but failed. Other hunters launched expeditions to hunt this tiger, yet they were equally unsuccessful. Reportedly, blue tigers were also known as blue devils, since most of them were man-eaters. Found in peninsular Malaysia, the Malayan tiger was only recognized as a tiger subspecies in 2004. The Malayan tiger also happens to be the national animal of Malaysia. The Malaysia coat of arms features two tigers. The symbol of the tiger symbolizes bravery and strength among Malaysians. In the 1950s, around 3,000 Malayan tigers roamed the wilderness. However, a national survey conducted in 2020 estimated that the number was now less than 150. The Malayan tiger is also listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. Native to Southeast Asia, the Indochinese tiger is declared extinct in Cambodia and Vietnam. The remaining population is found in Thailand and Myanmar. The reason for their extinction is due to habitat loss and poaching. The latter is encouraged by the demand for body parts, which are used for traditional medicines and ornaments. Some estimates claim that there are maybe less than 350 Indochinese tigers in the wild. The Indochinese tiger is considered endangered by the IUCN, with a decreasing population. Tiger parts have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for more than a thousand years. For instance, its teeth are used as a remedy for fever, its claws as a sedative for insomnia, its eyeballs to cure malaria and epilepsy, its whiskers to treat toothaches. This is indeed a sad plight for a critically endangered animal. Found on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, the Sumatran tiger is considered the smallest tiger subspecies. Of all tigers, Sumatran tigers have the darkest coat and their stripes are closely spaced. This is thought to be an adaptation to blend with the tropical rainforest habitat, although now it's the only tiger found in Indonesia. Previously, there were other tigers. Native to the island of Bali, the Bali tiger was the smallest tiger subspecies. Sadly, it was hunted to extinction. The last recorded sighting was in 1937. Then there was the Javan tiger, which lived on the island of Java. These tigers were relatively small too, but larger than the Bali tiger. Although they inhabited most of Java by the end of the 18th century, they too were hunted to extinction. The last recorded sighting was in 1976. The remaining tiger of Indonesia the Sumatran tiger is listed as critically endangered, with 400 to 500 tigers in the wild. Even though there are six existing tiger subspecies, the extinction of a third big cat, the Caspian tiger, is a grim forewarning. This tiger was found in Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Afghanistan, and even parts of China. It was considered one of the largest big cats with a muscular body and powerful legs. Its fur had a grand gold-yellow color. It's also believed that the Caspian tiger had the thickest fur. But sometime in the 1970s, this cat went extinct. Again, human hand played a role in its disappearance. One may never see this species in the wild again. The remaining tiger subspecies are all endangered. Hence, 
extinction is not impossible. The fact that three tiger subspecies went extinct during the last 70 years should be a sufficient warning. Safeguarding these big cats is of the utmost importance. If not, there may come a day when one may not see a wild tiger. Instead, they'd be a distant memory.